Welcome to Smart Ideas and Gadgets. Today, we delve deep into the story of how Switzerland became one of the most unconquerable nations in history. From its strategic geography and military innovations to its steadfast neutrality and economic stability, we'll explore the key factors that have ensured Switzerland's enduring security and independence. Let's begin our journey through time to understand how Switzerland achieved this remarkable status. Switzerland's journey to becoming unconquerable dates back to the early 13th century. The Swiss Confederation was officially formed in 1291 with the alliance of the cantons of Ori, Schwyz, and Unterwalden to defend against the encroaching Habsburg Empire. This alliance set the foundation for a united front against external threats. Key historical milestones include the Battle of Morgarten in 1315 and the Battle of Sempach in 1386, where Swiss forces famously defeated larger, well-equipped Habsburg army using guerrilla tactics and intimate knowledge of the local terrain. These victories established the reputation of Swiss soldiers as formidable and resourceful fighters. The Swiss also embraced the concept of the Everlasting League, a series of defensive alliances among various cantons that further solidified their collective strength and resolve. Switzerland's geography plays a crucial role in its defense strategy. The Alps, which cover about 60% of the country, create natural barriers that are incredibly difficult for invading armies to navigate. The rugged terrain and narrow mountain passes make large-scale military operations almost impossible. The Swiss National Redoubt, a defensive plan implemented in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, fortified the Alpine region with an extensive network of bunkers, artillery positions, and hidden airfields. This plan ensured that even if lowland areas were occupied, the core of the country could remain defended and operable. The Swiss army also developed a strategy of destroying key infrastructure such as bridges, tunnels, and roads to impede enemy movement, effectively turning the entire landscape into a formidable obstacle course for any invader. Switzerland's policy of neutrality has been a cornerstone of its foreign policy for centuries. Officially recognized at the Congress of Vienna in 1815, Swiss neutrality has allowed the country to avoid entanglement in European conflicts and maintain peaceful relations with neighboring countries. During both world wars, Switzerland maintained its neutrality despite being surrounded by Axis powers during World War II. Swiss diplomatic efforts, coupled with its strong military deterrence, helped it avoid invasion. The Swiss also acted as intermediaries and provided humanitarian aid, further reinforcing their neutral stance. Switzerland's neutrality is not just a military strategy, but a deeply ingrained cultural value reflected in its diplomatic engagements and international relations. The country hosts numerous international organizations, including the Red Cross and various United Nations agencies, enhancing its role as a neutral ground for global diplomacy. Switzerland's military strategy emphasizes a well-trained citizen army. Compulsory military service for Swiss men ensures a large, ready reserve force capable of rapid mobilization in times of crisis. The Swiss militia system means that the country can quickly field a significant number of troops with extensive training and local knowledge. The Swiss Army's defensive tactics include a focus on rapid mobilization, decentralized command, and the ability to wage asymmetric warfare, utilizing the country's challenging terrain to its advantage. These tactics are designed to wear down and frustrate potential invaders, making any occupation costly and unsustainable. Switzerland has also invested in advanced military technologies, including state-of-the-art defense systems, cybersecurity measures, and surveillance technologies. These investments ensure that the Swiss military remains prepared to address modern threats, from conventional warfare to cyber attacks. The Swiss strategy of armed neutrality means that while the country does not engage in offensive military actions, it maintains a robust defensive posture. This approach deters potential aggressors by signaling that any attempt to invade would be met with significant resistance. Switzerland's financial sector adds another layer to its unconquerability. The country's banking secrecy laws, established in 1934, have attracted wealth from around the world, 
world, providing a robust economic foundation. Swiss banks are known for their stability, security, and discretion, making Switzerland a global financial hub. As of 2024, Switzerland's GDP stands at approximately $820 billion, with a GDP per capita of around $95,000, making it one of the wealthiest nations globally. This economic strength allows Switzerland to invest heavily in its defense and infrastructure. The Swiss economy is diversified with strong sectors in finance, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing, and tourism. This economic diversity ensures resilience against global economic fluctuations and contributes to the country's overall stability. Switzerland's financial stability is also supported by prudent fiscal policies, a strong regulatory framework, and a culture of innovation. The country consistently ranks high on global indices of economic freedom, competitiveness, and innovation. Today, Switzerland continues to invest in modern defense technologies, including advanced cyber defense systems and sophisticated surveillance technologies. The Swiss government recognizes the evolving nature of threats and remains committed to maintaining a cutting-edge defense infrastructure. Switzerland's military doctrine now includes a significant focus on cybersecurity. With the increasing reliance on digital infrastructure, the Swiss are investing in measures to protect against cyber threats and ensure the integrity of their critical systems. Predictions for the future suggest that Switzerland will maintain its status as an unconquerable nation by adapting to new security challenges. This includes not only military and cyber threats, but also economic and environmental challenges. Switzerland's proactive approach to risk management and innovation will continue to be key to its security and resilience. The country's commitment to neutrality, combined with its robust defense capabilities, ensures that it will remain a safe and stable environment in an increasingly volatile world. Switzerland's ongoing efforts to balance neutrality with readiness serve as a model for other nations seeking to navigate complex geopolitical landscapes. In conclusion, Switzerland's combination of strategic geography, historical fortifications, military innovation, diplomatic neutrality, and financial stability has made it an unconquerable nation. Its ability to adapt and remain resilient in the face of changing threats ensures that it will continue to be a bastion of security and neutrality for years to come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful videos.